Hi, hey besties. besties. Welcome. Hi, besties. I did. Why did I say that? Hey, besties. Hey, besties. Welcome to week four. This is our fourth episode Shut of Buzzy Besties. We just recorded our third episode. It's all about a 2022 rewind, so make sure you go ahead and check that out on Spotify and um, YouTube. And maybe, maybe Apple Podcasts, who knows? By the time you're seeing this, maybe. Maybe. I but haven't really looked into it, I'm not going to lie. Me but either. Anyway, nobody will fucking listen to that. That's Apple a New Year's resolution. Honestly. There we go. Starting off strong. That's a good Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> We're really going to start it like that, huh? Yeah. What a segue. That's a joke that you so wouldn't strong. understand if you didn't listen to the last episode. So go watch it. Shameless plug. Yep. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by this growers. It's, it's not, not sponsored, sponsored by. by. It's not sponsored Literally by. at all. This episode is not sponsored by <laughs> Growers Cider. Growers Spirits. This is a field watermelon lager. Have you tried it yet? No. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers, oh, yeah. Cheers! I don't love it. <laughs> I'm not I like gonna the lie. smell of it better than the taste. I agree. The smell is better than the taste. The I smell? like Growers. Their no, ciders like, are usually good. This has lavender in it, which kind of like... It throws me off. Yeah, it does throw me off a little bit. Anyway, we're going to drink it because it's here. Mm -hmm. We'll just sip. This will be gone by the end of the episode. Do you think? Mine will be. I don't know. I'm I'm thirsty. I don't know. Thirsty Friday, bitches. Happy Friday. We're filming or this whatever, on Friday. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe we say whatever day it is that we're posting this. But Probably we Thursday. Yet. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Um, but this episode is all gonna be about the new year. We wanted to ring in the new year with you guys. We were gonna film an episode last week, but honestly, Beth was home, and it was just we just couldn't come up with the, the time schedule. To did not work. It just we had one day, and then. Things came up for both of us, and it was just like, I yeah. had to go to bingo. <laughs> so. I just had to go to bingo. So. Priorities, I understand. I, I respect that. Um, I respect that. But yes, this episode is going to be all about 2023. We have some super exciting things coming up in 2023 for the podcast, but also just like... <laughs> <laughs> but also yeah. just in our personal lives, so we're so, just excited. Yeah, we're so excited. Um... Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, besties. Happy New Year, besties. What is everybody's New Year's resolutions? Do you Oh, like? are we starting with that now? No. I'm just, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, we can. I'm just giving a little sneak peek into it later. <laughs> I love the teaser. Mm, Look at you. teaser tease. Teasing. <laughs> That's so fun. Um, so we're going to talk about a little bit about our New Year's resolutions and also what we think of them, if we stick to them. Mm -hmm. LOL. Um, You're not allowing, but I've got the tea. Yeah. yeah, but let's start with our favorites. Yeah, let's start with our favorites. What are what's your favorite of the week? My favorite of the week is uh my Yeti that I just got for Christmas. Yes. I only drink very ice cold water. Like I love iced water. And I go down to Starbucks every single day. They know that I want a venti ice water with extra ice, but I have been going more than once a day because my ice melts before I have the time to like drink it and then I put water in and then it just melts. And now I have a Yeti in the past two days since I've had one at work and I also have one for home. I am just in awe of how cold it is all day. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna drink so much water, which is a perfect goal for the new year. Just like hydrating. I love being a thirsty girl, so. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. You with have that. been drinking a lot more water recently. Yes, I have been doing so well. Yeah. I'm really proud of myself. So I think having ice cold water like any time of day is going to really help. It does help. Do you have ice at home? Yes, always. Okay. I don't have an ice maker like you. I'm not fancy <laughs> like that, but, but ice, ice <laughs> literally lasts in a Yeti for like twelve. Yeah. Sometimes I fill up my cup at night with a few ice cubes and it's still there in the morning. That's what I've been doing. Like, it's, they're exactly. insane. They're so good. Also, oh, speaking on that, I'm going to say my favorite of the week, which yeah, is also sure. a tumbler. Shut up, really? Yeah, it's my Stanley cup. Oh, I've heard such good things. It's, it's so good. I got like the biggest one. I think it's 40 ounces. And I literally, like at work, we obviously have like an ice machine and a water machine mm. mixed together. So I go in, I fill it up at work. 
like, and it's, my ice is there. I probably still have ice in it from last night. It keeps everything it's cold as well. like, oh my god, it's amazing. That one has a handle and a straw. That one has a handle and a straw. Right. But you can get, you can get Yeti straw lids. I'm going to. I already looked or it up. Them. Yeah. Because yeah. those are a game changer for Yetis. Game I believe changer. you. Anyway, I'm like a wow. toddler fanatic. You so. are. I have never met someone who loves... Water, water bottles, bottles like water bottles yeah i love them not I love them. in my life have i met someone who loves them as much as carrie i do i really have passion i really want another stanley cup but also i'm trying to like only have like why do i need two you know what i mean doesn't a stanley cup sound like hockey related? yeah is it, it is it, oh, is it meant to be hockey related no oh a okay. stanley stanley is the brand name we actually sell them at marks Really? Yeah, we sell Stanley at Marks. <laughs> we're acting as if we still work, <laughs> work at there. We're like, yeah. Yeah, we sell them. Um, well, how much but we are do. they? Should I go get well, one? Well, it's like 50. They don't have the one that you sell. Them. They don't um, have the 50. Yeah, the ugly ones. Yeah, they are ugly. Okay. Yeah, the pretty ones is probably down to where we're going. Stanley, like, okay. website. I got them. I got mine at Neon. But I really wanted the pink one. They didn't have a pink oh, one. Oh, I think so I, I saw your TikTok purple. when you yeah. got it. That makes sense. I okay. for purple, which is, like, honestly my second favorite color, so it's fine. But I really, really purple? want the pink one. But I'm also trying to, like, I don't need two Stanley Cups. You know what I mean? I, it's not, Are you sure? I, like... I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a bunch of Starbucks Cups. I know, but that's the thing. I, like, I don't need them all. I don't use them. I use one that I like in that moment. Well, then like you my need it because I literally don't gonna use drink, anymore. Well, like when one is dirty, then you have another one. That is true. I do. I do take my Stanley Cup to work like every single shift, I, and I drink so much water because of it. Exactly. It so it's so for your health benefit. It should be covered by insurance. Honestly, true. I should also write that off my taxes. Yeah, write that off. <laughs> Oh my god, now that we have a podcast, if we talk about something on a podcast, can we write that off in our insurance? Our, our taxes? That's what I meant? Absolutely. Oh my god, exciting. We should talk about really um, expensive things. Yeah, Chanel. Yeah, my um, Louis bag. My Louis bag. <laughs> That's a write-off. Have you watched Chicks Creek? Um, part of it. Where... I think it's David is like, it's a write off because he has a business. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Apothecary or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember enough, but anyway, not the point. So we both have favorite cups this week. This week. And that's we also so have exciting. these cups. And we do have these cups. Aren't we fancy? They're like little. I'm not even going to say where we got them from. We got them from a very expensive We got them from, store. like, Pottery Barn. Yeah, I think that's I think. where we got them. Yeah. Definitely not somewhere with a green and yellow logo. Mm. Uh-uh. The dollar sign? No. No, the one dollar <laughs> sign? <laughs> that's not the one. Also, loving that there's still fucking stickers down at the bottom. Did like, you watch just, them? Like, I did, but, like, that's I'm just kidding. so on brand for us. Mm-hmm. Um, Great. I'm glad that we both have cups this week. Me too. Um, what's on your TikTok for you, Gage? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, my thing is gone. You go first. <laughs> I write everything down because I have no I memory. I didn't write anything down. I'm doing this um, episode completely blind. She's winging it. Um, my TikTok for you page this week, I'm going to say... Okay, I'm going to look. Go. You can't look. Go. She's recording now. I'm going to say lucky girl syndrome. What's that? It's where you say everything. I'm so lucky. Like, it's like a mantra. Like, it's manifesting. Oh, I think I did see that. And basically, yeah. you're supposed to say, I saw it on TikTok. Of course, I saw it on TikTok. That's the segment. That's the city. But. <laughs> That's the city. <laughs> That's the city. <laughs> but. It's catching. It's got to fucking catch. I hate that you're so good at that. I hate something, and then you say it three times, and I'm like, you know what? It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> so this segment is TikTok. So of course I saw it on TikTok, but it's these. I had heard of it before, but these two girls, I think they're in like university or whatever, were talking about how it was working for them. Basically, it's like a manifestation technique where you say, I'm so lucky, everything just works out for me, or everything just works out in my favor, everything good is happening to me. You just like convince yourself that you're a lucky person. It's called Lucky Girl Syndrome. Okay. There might be a better name for it, but that's what I have seen TikTok people call it. So I have been doing that for two days now. Actually, what day is it? Has anything come, come from it? Well, my coworker thought... <laughs> well. Well. My coworker <laughs> thought I had dyed my hair. She was like, it looks so good today. She said that yesterday, so it doesn't look that great today, apparently. And then also, <laughs> someone at the bank who I had never seen before, I go to the bank like 
three times a week and I had never seen this girl before and she's like oh my god your eyebrows are so nice like what do you do with your eyebrows and I was like I just like gel them with clear gel and she was like which one the anesthesia one and you I was like it? no it's oh. literally one from Essence <laughs> did you just tell her it's yeah. the anesthesia no I just don't know oh. I told her the truth I didn't lie but she asked me if it was that one I was like oh no it's actually just like the cheapest one I could find at the drugstore um so she told me that, that was super nice and she's like just like a clear gel like she didn't believe me and i was like yeah i promise like i'm not i was so embarrassed anyway but it was she very nice it was anesthesia. i thought about it but then i didn't want to like lead her astray and just be like Maybe. she gets it and it's like the worst yeah exactly I no i still want it i'm still gonna get it i just yeah. haven't like put it in my budget yet you know yeah. i chose popeyes for dinner instead of that's totally fair exactly totally fair. and then i feel like one other thing happened Oh, I was, I really wanted to see on the subway last night and I just kept saying I'm so lucky because it's always so packed and I had like three things in my hands and I don't mind standing normally, but I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. I really don't want to like stand for the whole trip back because I usually do. And I just kept saying that I'm, I'm so, lucky. so lucky. I'm going to get a yeah, seat. Yeah, I'm going to get a seat. I got a seat. So like, I felt like it was Did somebody like get up and like give you the seat? Or no. Just, like, <laughs> just happened there was a seat. But I'm somebody not Somebody just like got off at their stop and that's like, I'm so lucky. <laughs> you know what? I'm not giving up on this and I will report back. I will report Let back. Let me know when you win the lottery, babe. You're not going to be on the list if I know. I'm running with my money. I mean, it doesn't hurt. No, that's a good one. Absolutely. Why not? Like, it's, there's nothing to say. Just say I it. just say it like a couple times a day whenever I think to say it. I've just been like, I am so lucky. Okay. But I have seen a couple other people on my for you page saying that it's working out for them. So I'm, I'm really hopeful. I'm so excited. I'm for so you. lucky. I am so lucky this is going to work out for me. Good things just happen to me, babe. I, you're laughing now, but you just wait until good things happen to me and you're going to be left in the dust. I'm going to be like, fuck, I should have said I'm lucky. <laughs> Or if we both do it, maybe this podcast will just blow up overnight. Okay, we are so no, lucky. See, this podcast is... is really good. And <laughs> people love listening to us. We are so lucky. We are so blessed to have this following. <laughs> we are so blessed <laughs> to have the people follow us that they do. We are so blessed to have the 10 people watching. I think it's probably less. It's definitely less. Okay, but well, it's fine. We love you. This is our lucky girl mantra. I feel like it should be called mantra, not a syndrome. <laughs> You're probably, I can name it. You can't be mad at me for naming it. That's just what they say in their TikToks. <laughs> I'm keeping track and I will report back. Please. All don't. right, so what depressing thing is on your TikTok page? I'm done. This week is actually not <laughs> depressing. What is it's that? A dance. Which one? Um, can you do it for me? Yeah, of course. So it goes like this. Um, for those listening, I'm going to describe it to you. I'm trying to think of the song. Okay. I guess I'm just a shoulder to cry on. It's a Christmas one. It's a Christmas one. You're like three weeks late to it? <laughs> She's waving her arms. You're going to have to watch this on YouTube. I do not know how to explain this. And that's... Are we going to get copyrighted for that song? I don't think so. I'm kidding. Oh. But good job. Thanks. So that's, nice that's what's on my for you page. It's still on mine. Is it? It was on, yeah, it was over Christmas, but it's still the there. I'm still mine. doing it, so. <laughs> Have you seen, I think her name is Yesley. She's been doing one. It's like, oh, I don't remember how it goes, but she's just like staring at the camera and there's like something about boom and then she wins at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Light a match. Yeah, light a match. Boom. Exactly. I keep I seeing that. The fire, babe. The muse. You could be the lighter. I could be the muse. Something like that. You could be the it's a remix. Tick, boom. <laughs> tick, tick, boom. I could be the elastic. I could be the chalkboard. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah. I know anyway, that about. has also been when you were said dance. I thought that's the one you were gonna do. Josh Richards did it. I don't know who that is. BFF's podcast. I we follow them on Instagram. Yeah, we do. You're right. <laughs> we we do, but I haven't really paid that close attention. I'm sorry. I'll go like all of their things so they can notice us. Yeah, shout out BFFs. Shout out BFFs. Have us on. Oh my god, that would be fun. I don't know them, but no, we would get fucking roasted. It's like Dave Portnoy. <laughs> I don't know who that is either. <laughs> like bar stool guys. 
It's a roast roast corner and chicken fry, beer on a chicken fry. Yeah, I think I don't know. It's still on. Like, we would get roasted for for this. For sure. We would get roasted. What are they going to roast us about? We're perfect. (laughs) We're lucky. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. They would find something. Trust me. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to go on. It's not that I don't want to trust you. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So, honestly, it's fair. What has been your media consumption (laughs) this week? Sorry, we're in a really silly goofy. I do week. feel silly goofy. We just filmed some TikToks, so go follow us there at Buzzy Besties, and yeah. you will understand why we cannot stop laughing. Um, what have I been consuming? <laughs> Is that what you just asked me? Media consumption. My media consumption. Um, I haven't really been listening, watching, or reading anything. I did just finish a book, but I talked about that in the last episode, mm-hmm. and I have not started anything new in the past hour. So. <laughs> I, my ne- oh, I know what my next book is going to be. Oh, what is it? Um, Tom Felton wrote a book from Harry Potter. <laughs> Who's that? Draco Malfoy. Oh, Draco Yeah, Draco Malfoy. Oh, okay, okay. We're just going back and forth being like, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, maybe we weren't super compatible. <laughs> no, I think it's good because we're, we're relating to more than one generation. Right. Millennial. Gen Z. Gen Z. Yeah. So um, Tom Felton, Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter wrote a book called, I think, Beyond the Wand, and I have it downloaded, so I'm going to start that tomorrow. Oh, good. On your, like, way to work? Yeah, while you're probably. Or actually, probably tonight on my way like, home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you get a seat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I am lucky. I it's probably Friday will. Night. That's true. It's Friday night, but I'm lucky. You are lucky. Lucky girl mantra. What about you? Lucky girl syndrome. <laughs> um. <laughs> LGS. The LGM. Hashtag LGS. Um. <laughs> that sounds like a disease. It, syndrome does too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it is. But it's a good one. I mean, all of them have um, their pros and cons, I guess. I don't know. I'm also, literally, I haven't started anything in the past hour since we recorded our last pod, so go listen to that. I'm mm-hmm. still reading um, A Simple Life. You have, like, a three books life. on the go right now? I do. I do. And um, I will be not finishing the ones I don't want to finish because in 2023, we are not bringing that energy into 2023. I shouldn't feel like it's a chore to finish a book. You're right. I so agree with that. I'm leaving it in the dust. If I don't fucking like it, I ain't fucking reading it. Add a girl. <laughs> the attitude. <laughs> that is that just that. came out of nowhere. <laughs> I love that for you. You do not have to finish a book you don't want to read. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm not watching anything. I'm trying really not to watch anything right now just because I am starting school on Tuesday. So, like, I don't want to mm. get bogged down Sucked with TV show, to you know a show. Mean? So, I'm just literally watching TikToks. And that's it. Okay. That's, that's great. my media consumption. I'm not... I'm, no new songs. No, no new. To be honest, I literally talked to my mom on my drives that's to so and from cute. work. So I literally don't listen to music. I love like, that for you. So my mom. I'm listening to my mom. Aw, does she have any fun stories to tell? Should we have her on the pod as a guest? Yeah, she may, I'm trying to get her up We should do a Mother's Day oh episode. God, that would be so fun. That would be fun. That would be so weird. Uh, could we do it with both of our mothers? Yeah, but they low key know each other. Oh my God, they do! I forgot. We could get them in a room and us in a room and just like zoom them in. That, that would, be would be so weird. So weird, but I'm kind I forgot of they here for kind it. Kind of knew each other. They do know each other. They were sister in laws at one point, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't think they dated that long. <laughs> Not our parents, but we're related. You know the story if so you're an OG. Know. Yeah. Go listen. I think we talked about it on our first episode. I think so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're an OG. Oh, uh, yeah. If you're uh, an OG, OG pod. From, okay, three weeks ago, you know. Mm hmm. That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Listening to anything or anything else. But today is Friday that we're recording this, and it's New Music Friday. So, what's the only up thing? Giddy Up by Shania Twain. Oh, okay. Is that an album? No, it's, it's a song. I know that. It's a song. Okay. It's a song. The album comes out February 3rd if you're a Shania fan, like myself and. Carrie kind of yeah, part time fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a kidding. bandwagon fan apparently. No, I just don't listen to like I just don't care about n- new music drama. I care too much about it. I just don't care. Like if I if it comes out and I like the song, then I'm gonna be a fan. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unless it's Morgan Wallen. Like he is just like on another level. He's on a pedestal in my life. I can tell. Yeah, you're not really hiding that. No, at all. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to go move on to our New Year's? Yeah. So question twenty twenty three. Can you believe it? How are we feeling about it? I feel motivated, inspired. Oh, I love New Year's. Do you? 
It's my favorite holiday. Okay, this year felt so different for me. Why? Tell me. I don't know. I was just working. Like, I literally just didn't really have a new year, so I didn't have time to, like, think of, like, anything that I wanted to do. I was just, mm. like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm still stuck in 2022. But I'm going to change that attitude. Yes. Change Starting that right around. now. Starting now. Okay, that's fair. We so, are, what, six days in? Something We're like six that. Days in. Six that's days in. It's not too in. late. Better late than never, right? Yeah, exactly. What I you, agree. What do we feel about resolutions? I'm a huge fan. Are you? Yes. I know some people are not. And I understand the argument that if you want to make a resolution, you should do it anytime. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel weird when people say that because I'm like, but if I want to start on January 1st, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Exactly. The way that I think about it is it's a very clear measurement of time to finish a goal like by the end of the year that's 365 right. days 12 months like i know exactly yeah. how much time it is i will have hopefully finished a goal i'm really good at sticking with my goals my you resolutions are. you always but only for a year like if it's longer than that probably not gonna stick with it <laughs> like save money for three years absolutely not okay saving money i'm not gonna <laughs> definitely yeah. not one of we them we won't go there <laughs> it was one of my goals last year. I wanted to save 3K. Jokes. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Where did I think I was going to get 3K to just hide out? Pocket. Pocket it. No, I'm so dumb. Why did I think that was a good idea? So I failed that one, but I tried. Okay. No, I didn't try. That's a lie. I wrote it on my list, and that was you wrote it on your list. I had nine fun. resolutions last year. Okay, can we hear them? No, because I can't remember them all, but oh, I only... Your list? <laughs> it's on my phone that's dying. Oh, but I had nine last year, and this year I only have four. Okay, that's starting at least sustainably. Yes, yeah, so these are my, I made a TikTok about it, but I like, I'm so passionate about New Year's resolutions. I love because it. I think it's like such a nice time to like just get, start. yeah, just like excited about something that you've been wanting to do for a while. Right. For me at least. Yeah. Obviously, I can only speak for myself. Of course. But my, not rules, but like my outline is I do one vague, one specific. One, this year, actually the, the past couple of years, I've like rolled over from the previous year because it didn't go so well the, the last year. So right. I'm like, second chances are real. This is like Let's a resolution from 2018. <laughs> That's I don't give up, baby. I did not give up. I'm lucky and committed. <laughs> um, and then I guess just like a wild flower. I don't know. So this year, do you have any resolutions? Like, what do you think about them before I go on? So... I'm like kind of mixed about resolutions. I I love the idea of starting fresh, starting with a new clean slate. Like I I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. But then I also have commitment issues, so I never finish my resolutions. Literally never ever ever have I ever finished a New Year's resolution or any resolution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I also think like, I don't know, at the beginning of the year I feel like it's just easier to think. Like, I, I'm trying to think of the word to describe it. Like, sorry, I was just thinking, I'm just <laughs> trying to find the word to describe it without being disrespectful. <laughs> I was like, oh, if you're a sexy bitch, duh. Duh. Sorry, that was like, it just threw me off. Lyrics. <laughs> trying to find the word to, to describe. describe. I don't know. Anyway. Disrespectful. Damn. Damn, girl. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much where I stand with resolutions. Um, I think they're they're good for some people. That those people are just not me. Mm -hmm. I just I don't really care that much. But I, that being said, I do have a few. Oh yeah, okay. just like very minor adjustments that I would need to make in my day to day to make mm -hmm. my life easier. I think it's easier to give not to give something up, but like no, sorry, to give something up is easier than to start a new habit for me. Like, I will think yeah. about it easier. Like, it just, like, is more, I'm like, okay, if I think about this one thing, I'm going to think about giving it up. Right. But, like, if I'm starting a new habit, I never remember to do it. So, like, that's harder for me. But I don't know. Right. That's fair. So do you want to say what your first one is? So 
My first one is literally just to be a better texter. <laughs> yeah, you could work on that. <laughs> Recently, I don't know what it is. I was, I've always been a really good texter. Like somebody texts me, I'm texting them back within like the 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah. But recently, I don't know. I don't know if it's work. I don't know if it, I like, I, I my just, friends? No, I just have no idea what it is. And it's not you guys either. Like my mm -hmm. mom texted me the other day and I didn't answer her for two days. Like it was, she was just like, good morning. And then sent me a question mark because I didn't answer. But I'm like, yeah, I could have definitely just said good morning. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like no, I, I didn't know take any mean. thought. I just genuinely, I see it on my phone and then I just forget it. about it. Yeah. I just go into, I don't know. I don't know what happens. But anyway, that's one of my New Year's resolutions is to just literally be a better texter and text people back. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a <laughs> that's good one. It. That's one of them. And I have two. Okay, so what's let's my some of yours. big one this year is I'm giving up McDonald's hot food. Okay, so hot I'm, food. Yeah, so like I'm doing it as the way that I succeed at my New Year's resolutions is I straight up give myself exceptions. So what if we said we wanted McDonald's for supper tonight? You guys can't have McDonald's. I just would have just ordered a drink because it's not hot. Uh -huh. So that's what the exceptions are. So like that's why I make them. It's like if somebody else, I don't want to ruin someone yeah. else's time. If you guys want McDonald's, absolutely we can go. I'll get an ice cream, a McFlurry, uh, just anything cold. So like that's why I make the exception. I'm like I'm not giving up McDonald's. If we want to go, like we can go. I just can't get hot food. So you get a salad. Sure, if they have salads, do they have salads? I think so. Oh uh, yeah, I could get a salad. It's basically just. I found myself What if the fries were like cold? cold. No. <laughs> that doesn't count. They were originally hot. Can't count okay. it. Right. The reason I just found myself not being able to say no to McDonald's, if I like decided in my head, I was like, ooh, I would love a chicken nugget. I would find a way get to get it. it. Yeah. And I didn't like how much control that ho had over me. Fair. So, but like, I don't have that about like ice cream. <laughs> like I don't care about ice cream. So like, I'm not really worried about being able to say no to that. Right. And same with other fast food restaurants. I don't have any problem saying no to those. Like if I didn't want Popeye's tonight, like I didn't want chicken. Right. So you just I just chose something else on the menu. Yeah, like it's not so, a big deal. Yeah. So that's my big one, and I think it's going to be really hard, if I'm being honest, because I love McDonald's. So why are you doing it, though? Like, what's just to be healthier? No, I don't care. Just, um, just to challenge myself to see if I can do it, just to kind of I get out of the did. cycle of being, not addicted, but mm -hmm. like being... It's so readily available at our fingertips, too, yeah. in Toronto. It's like, we have it's Uber everywhere. Eats, literally a click of a button. So mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, that's a really good resolution, actually. Thank you. Well, I mean, feel free to do it with me. You already had McDonald's no. this year, though. I did. I literally had it on the first. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you okay. didn't? Oh, I thought you said you had. Oh, no, that was for Christmas. Sorry. Yeah, was for Christmas. That was Christmas. Oh, All right, well, I feel free to do it with I me have. if you want. Erica has. Nick literally, yeah, yeah. Erica had it literally She sent yesterday. me a picture. She's like, oh yeah, you talked about McDonald's and now I want it. I was, I like, was influenced. <laughs> influenced by saying Ben doesn't want it. <laughs> by me. Reverse influence. Yeah, I'm not better my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want what I can't have. Nick mm -hmm. literally loves McDonald's and it's like his favorite thing to Uber Eats. But I me could, too. I could do a. I could do. I could try to do a cold. Oh my god, no, don't worry. I, I was just joking. Don't don't but do like, something. I, okay, well that kind of goes into my next like. Oh um, okay. What's yours? Is to be healthier to be healthier and not to be skinnier oh you know that's I mean? so nice to, so i, I want to try to be healthier for my health and not focus so much on a skinny same side. like i don't want to lose weight to lose to be skinnier i want to lose weight to be healthier mm -hmm. no i know sense. exactly what i want to i want to do it for my health and that's it and i think i don't know whether it's my age now i'm 26 so i don't know if like before like everyone in my i'm saying like so many times me too don't um, worry about it everyone in my life has been it's everything has been like my whole <laughs> are you trying not to say like <laughs> i'm like focusing so much on it but my Just whole life like everything has been surrounded by like weight i feel like like my, oh, okay like my mom has always said like my mom's tiny and my mom's always said, I don't know, she's just been, like, very much about she, weight. She, like, talks and, about it. Yeah. And, like, diets and, like, things diets like that. Diets and, oh, like, yeah. Anyway, that's another. No, that's, that's, another whole, story. that's our Mother's Day episode. That's our Mother's Day episode for sure. I just have a But, yeah. um, 
I just genuinely want to be healthier to be healthier. I don't, I want, if I lose weight in the process, I lose weight in the process, but mm -hmm. I don't want to focus, so I don't want to have the mindset to focus on being skinnier and losing weight. I want to be healthier. Got it. Like, because I think part of why I'm being a, such a shitty texter right now and like all of these other things snowballing is because I'm in a little bit of a rut, like because okay. I'm not being healthy. It's having a toll on my mental health. It's having a toll on my physical health. I feel like shit all the time, but I'm not doing anything about it. So on to January 7th, tomorrow, <laughs> we are starting one week late, but, but we'll, nice. go, we'll go one week into the, into twenty. I would be happy to help. Like if we wanted to like help motivate each other, yeah. I'd be more than happy to go on and that I'm journey. Also, I'm not setting like unrealistic, like goals for the gym like when I can make it to the gym I'm gonna make it to the gym I'm gonna try to do like little tweaks in my day-to-day -day life mm -hmm. so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming your schedule to... is really crazy is. though that's it's hard fun. I guess it'll be a little easier now that you're in school yeah but that goes into my next resolution which is I want to go to the gym once a week okay Oh, so okay. that's a good goal, and then if yeah. you go more it's like exactly if I go more that's great but I will not allow myself to skip a week Okay. Because there should be no reason I can't spend one hour a week. a week at the gym. Like, that's usually my normal amount anyway. Yeah. So, an hour is not that long. I can go. If I have that busy of a life, which I don't, like, there's no excuses. You should excuses. be making millions of dollars. On exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, I have the time. I just have to go. If I and honestly, I'm not even setting a time limit on it, so like it might not even be an hour. Right, it could be. If I go, minutes. yeah, if I go for like five minutes, I don't care. I went to the gym yeah. once a week. Good. So that is my goal, and then as you said, if I go more, that's great. But if not, and I'm I'm not doing it for like weight loss either. Like it's the same reason as yeah. you, where I'm like just I just have to like take healthier steps. Yeah, so. because honestly, like when I am working out and when I am. You know, when I'm going to spin four days a week, like that's crazy. I don't think I could do that now, mm -hmm. but I'm just in such a better space physically and mentally. It just like, and I know that, but like the last couple months I've just been like eating like shit and like. Do you still have your good life membership? I do. Oh, you didn't get rid of it? No. Well, feel <laughs> free to join me. For it. I know. I will. If you want to come with me like, once, anytime. Once my full-time work stops. Yes, like, of course. Of course readily available but yeah okay those that. are good resolutions what else what other resolutions i have two mine. more that's all i had my next one is read 30 books okay because that was my goal last year and i didn't meet it so this year i'm gonna make the same goal and try to meet it i don't i don't like beat myself up if i don't make my resolution so it's not like a big deal for me but it's just more like a guideline and last year, podcast podcasts really fucked me up. Like, I kind of discovered them last year where I was just, like, listening right. to so many and, like, finding new ones and just getting so excited about podcasting that it really took away from me listening to audiobooks Oops, because yeah. that's how I read. So I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on it this year and then see how that goes. And then my last one is the one that, well, I guess technically the other one did too, but the one that like rolled over from last year is a vague one where I just want to focus on hair care a little bit more. Okay. Like I want to focus on like having, like I have pretty long hair yeah, yeah. and I like the color of it right now. And I just want to get it like really healthy and shiny and like beautiful. Like I just think, and really like cool. actually like make an effort in my hair. Cause I do try to like have nice skin and like I try to... Um, like wear cute outfits and I feel like I really lack in the hair department so it's something I want to work on and I did like start that journey last year but I could have done better so I'm gonna roll that over so what are you gonna do to like I haven't gotten that far no, if I'm being honest that's fair it's a it's your vague resolution exactly anyway, so, so can... I get to decide if I succeeded or not by right. the end of the year okay. we'll look back on this episode and be like wow Bethany. we'll be making our 2024 yeah right? your hair is shit <laughs> you look Last year. Yeah, you can be the judge of it. Our audience, maybe we'll have more than 10 listeners by 2024. Oh my god, I hope so. Oh my god, should we make a podcast resolution? Yes, that's such a good idea. Okay. What do you want it to be? I don't know, we did not think about it. No, this, this is so spontaneous. Like, let's do like, let's do one number. Oh. Statistically. Do we want to say it out loud? Is that like manifesting? Yeah, I'm lucky. What are we thinking? 
big or like small? Mm, I say I'm I'm thinking small. Okay. Because then if we don't reach it, that's <laughs> even sadder. But if this rare chance that we do reach, well, this I'm lucky. Part, so I'm thinking a thousand. <laughs> Is that big? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. I was well, literally like, like five. I was going. Well, we have five. I'm oh, pretty sure we got five. I was thinking a hundred. <laughs> When you said big, I was thinking like 20, 250,000. I was like, oh. For the first time that we went live on my TikTok, Carrie watches lives all the time. So she was literally like preparing us for <laughs> there to be like this huge amount of people, like people following being us. So mean. People being mean. She's like, guys, like, don't take it to heart. It's me too. <laughs> we had one person show up to our live and they were so nice. And sister Carrie was like, so oh, that's so weird. weird. Yeah, a sister, sister, bang, bang. <laughs> it was like a kid. I'm like, oh, this is so weird. Like, I didn't realize just like, <laughs> low, like, yeah. So I feel like you just have like, like yeah. I do because like a thousand people on TikTok is not that much. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I think it's a you lot have of people. Four. I have That's seven. Thank you very Do much. You? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? I have watched me lose them all over now. I'm literally about to hit 300 on TikTok. <gasps> Everybody go follow Carrie. Which means only two more times do I need to <laughs> hit 300 <laughs> before you before can. I can go live. Two more and like 100. Woohoo. So go follow me, please. So yeah. Follow people, Everybody please. go follow Carrie. Um, she wants to go live, and we need her to go live. Yes, we I'm we need that in the world. Trying to channel my inner Alex Earl. Just kidding. you can do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Get that boob job, babe. Right? Just kidding. <sighs> Anyone? Um, what were we talking okay, about? So I don't know where that came from. Statistics. Okay, so let's okay. go with a little bit of a lower number. Then. Well, we can be in the middle at five hundred. I said a hundred. <laughs> you said a thousand. That's still a lot, no, though. Now but now we have five. Okay. So, but we have two episodes out right now. Yeah, that's true. Like, we have so much time to grow and to, like, hone in on our craft. That's true. Okay. Like, we're only going to get better. Okay, 500. Absolutely. Okay. So, I want to get mics eventually. Yeah. We little want, mics, like, just we, like, little Amazon mics to start. Yeah. We can do it. I think we just have to like really focus and be committed and consistent. Absolutely. Consistency is what everything I've read. It's like if you're starting a podcast, be consistent. Exactly. Yeah. So I think like starting now because we'll have these two episodes out and then we'll continue. We're, we're going to be golden. We're going to have 500 in no time. All right. Okay. 500 I'm, in the year of 2023. I'm thinking it's going to happen. Okay. I hope so. I hope I so, so too. That would be so and much then, fun. What if we do, like, do, is there somebody that we would want to have on the podcast? Like, a, so just, many people like, are you kidding me? Like, just, like, would never happen. Who are you inviting? I don't know. Oh, okay. Do we have to decide together? Is that what you sure. mean? Okay. Just, like, one person that would be, like, whoa they came on their podcast like that's fucked. but like kind of realistic but like yeah yeah kind okay. of well yeah not fucking like justin bieber okay He's i was just saying podcast, you know, but like okay do not say never never say never, never say justin bieber said that first <laughs> so um who i can't even think of anyone like it's like a Did toronto you? creator that's what i was thinking should we get like sarah jenkins, sarah jenkins or jules Clover? like one of jules the lawyer yeah somebody like that Naomi Lanage, is that her name? I did a TikTok about it. She did, and I probably liked it and did not listen enough. Um, okay, so anybody in the TikTok Because I feel like that is realistic for us. We, do, we live in Toronto. We talk about influencers constantly, yeah. Yeah. including ourselves. <laughs> We're the next influencers of Toronto, don't you know? I was influenced. Yeah, we influenced yeah. Erica. We've, I influenced McKenna to get the Stanley Cup. Like... I, we have influenced people. We have. And, so. like, together, we're stronger. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thumbnail. <laughs> 2023. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Where were we? What this were is, we those doing? are our podcast resolutions. So, podcast oh, yeah. for Buzzy Besties resolutions 2023. We're going to try to hit 500K. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Not we're going to try okay. to hit 500 Period. <laughs> the end of that sentence is um, 500. And we're also going to try to get one of the Toronto influencers on our pod. Oh my god. I low-key love this. I was realistic. I think they're pretty realistic. I think I have to think big in order to be big. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I let's, love that. Let's go on to um. how do you celebrate New Year's? We're going to go. We're going to. 
go back a few gigs. Yeah, a few How gigs. do you celebrate New Year's Eve? What do you do? What did well, you do? Well, like growing up, we all went to my family camp with my parents and like close family and friends, I guess. And we had like non-alcoholic wine. I think that's where my love of juice started. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Grape juice. Yeah, I literally, literally think that's how it happened. Cause my dad doesn't drink either, so he would give us like wine glasses, all the kids, and we had our non-alcoholic wine. And now look at me, look at me here. But now I would <laughs> drink ciders on. A, oh, I guess it is a Friday night. It is but Friday, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I would do now. This year I spent it with my cousin Mallory and we learned on TikTok a little thing about eating 12 grapes in the first 60 seconds of the new year. Oh, so like, luck. It's, luck. Yeah, about luck. So if you wear, the, I think it's a Spanish tradition. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I saw it all over TikTok. So Mallory and I both saw it separately. We both bought grapes so we could do it. So we had a ton of grapes. We only needed 24 for each of like 12 for each of us. And so you eat them in the first, I made a TikTok about it because it was so funny. Mal was literally under the table with her red underwear. Well, she was wearing other clothes, but you have to wear red underwear if you're looking for love. <laughs> and then if you want travel, you run out of the door with a suitcase, I think. And then if you want money, you hold money. So I had like some money in my hands oh while my I was God. eating the grapes. It was intense, but usually I would just get really drunk. <laughs> That's a good way to start off the year though. I think it's fun. How about you? Um... Like back when I was a kid, we would nothing really super special. I used to hang out with my friend Cass on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. She lives in Toronto now, um, and we would literally Should we get on the pod. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, um, and we would literally just like count down the New Year's and go to bed. She's always she's very creative, so we would always do like the craziest things. Like one time, I don't know if it was on New Year's, but we <laughs> we made a we like, tried to break the record of the longest paper chain. <laughs> And we had this paper chain down her street. Shut she lived up. On this huge street. And then we were like, none of our parents wanted us to keep it because it was this huge fucking paper chain. Did so I was bringing it to my it? house. I don't know. Oh my god. Or I was bringing it to my house, putting it under my bed in one day. I think one day <laughs> That's my mom so was funny. Out, like so funny. Anyway, but we would just like I would hang out with her every New Year's. Um in recent years I've gotten like fucking obliterated. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna bring a record now. <laughs> I think we should bring a record. Should we see what we can bring? For Buzzy Besties. Oh, that's kind of fun. Like most podcast listens in an hour. <laughs> we think we got a chance. No. Least podcast. <laughs> I think we can do it. Um, but recent years, I've just gotten like literally obliterated with friends, going out to bars, going out, whatever. We've Since never lived in Toronto, Toronto though. We? I haven't really celebrated it, no. I, I love New so. Year's. I don't know what it is about it, but... Because I usually would go home. I've only been in Toronto oh, for two true. New Year's, so... Good point. But the last couple of years, like, COVID's just kind of, like, been fucked up. So I haven't really done anything. This year I was working, like, the day, so I had mm -hmm. to go to bed early. I did stay up for New Year's just to kiss Nick. Aww. I celebrated... New That's Brunswick cute. New Year's and Toronto New Year's. Me so. too. I did both as we'll well. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it's good. Um, but yeah, honestly, New Year's is kind of overrated. Like yeah. going out when I was like in my 20s, like young 20s, New Year's was so overrated. When I was in my 20s, she says at 26. <laughs> <laughs> like my young 20s. Yeah. I, no, I get It's it. so overrated. You have to buy like these expensive tickets to get into the bar and like the same bar that you go to all Every year round, round and like then you're just, like, oh, now I'm paying a hundred dollars. Yeah. Wow. And it was just so overrated. No, I agree. I think house parties are the way to go. Yeah. And then For like taxis, Ubers, cabs, so hard to get and so, so jacked up on yeah. price. Not Any good. holiday is like that though, but I just like love holidays. Me too. I don't know. I do too. I'm a sucker. I do too. Um, what do we have going on in 2023? Let's wrap this up. I only have two plans time. actually, like confirmed. Really? What yeah. are they? The first one is I'm going to see Blink 182 oh, yeah. in May. Shout out Bestie Lauren. Lauren. Shout out Bestie Lauren for my Christmas present. So I'm going to see them. That's the only. Oh no. And then the other confirmed ticket is with Bestie Lauren. It's Death Cab for Cutie. They're is going... she coming here for that? No, I'm going to her for that. We're are going... they going there? No, they're going to, I think, Portland, Maine. In my friend Liv September. is like, uh, shout out Liv, is like obsessed with Death Cab for Cutie. And she, we were talking about oh, that really? the other day. Yeah, she's obsessed with them. And she said maybe they're coming here and she was looking at tickets or something. 
I don't think they've announced any Toronto dates. Liz, I could be wrong. Comment down below what you're talking <laughs> about because I you just talked to me about Death Cab for Cutie. Something about I don't remember. They're going they on like a twentieth anniversary or twenty fifth yeah, anniversary tour, right? tour. Yeah. It's and they just them. announced it. That's so fun. Maybe yeah. her and Bestie Lauren uh, are like friend mates. Meant to be, meant to be friends. friends. Guys. Check each other out in the comments. Check out in the comments, ladies. <laughs> we're just like making friends. We're, we're like, like we were so our friends to be friends. <laughs> my worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I literally hate that. But yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Bestie Lauren is an exception. We all know this. That's true. So, um, yeah, I'm going to. I think I'm going to go home for my birthday this year, which oh, is September fourth, no. and then. Yeah, because it's a long weekend anyway, because it's yeah. Labor Day weekend. And then the concert is in Portland, Maine on the 8th, so I believe. will just drive over. Yeah, I'll drive with her. So that's the oh, only that's two plans I have. What about you? Um, I plan to go home also. Cool. In February, I think. I think I'm going to go home for the so 20th. so soon. Yeah. The it's already January. The 26th, I know. But I didn't go home, obviously, for Christmas, so mm -hmm. I want to get home and see my people. And people then I'm right going... <laughs> my other people. <laughs> and then I'm going to Florida in March. So, like, oh, we're yeah. Look at you right traveling. Now. I know. And I'm starting school. I can't in wait for the vlogs. Next week. I know. I'm so excited. We're doing um, Magic Kingdom for sure. We're going to Orlando. Oh, we're God. staying at a Disney park. We're staying at... Um, one of the like camper things, yeah, yeah. camping sites. Are you driving? We are, yeah. <laughs> with Where Ollie. Are you? We have to drive with Oh Ollie. my god, I didn't know so Ollie was going. We're staying in, I think, South Carolina mm -hmm. the first night, and then we're going to drive to Florida that day, be there for like a week. We're going to do Magic Kingdom, and then I think McKenna, Aiden, Jess, shout let out. us know. We were thinking maybe Epcot. Oh, Epcot, Epcot, Epcot. Have you been? Yeah. Epcot or um, Hollywood Studios. We don't know which oh, one. I haven't so been to fun. either. I've been to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and... I've never been to Florida. Oh, really? No. Oh, it's so good. Flights are super in cheap Universal. in April, so are maybe they? I'll be going. Maybe I'll just take myself on a little solo Go. trip. No. No, park, the fucking Disney parks are so expensive to get into, mm. but we're going to do that, and then I think maybe we might even drive to Tampa for like a day. Basil. So You're already there. Yeah. So I'm super excited for that. I'm starting school. What else is coming up in 2023? Dara's getting married. Shout out Dara. I'm so excited for that wedding. I'm so excited. Um, Congratulations. I'm so excited. What else? I can't think of any. I'm sure there's more. I really want another dog, but I don't think it's. Oh God, I want a dog. Should we get yeah. brother and sister, or like two brothers or two sisters, or just like two dogs? Like, so let me have another one. Sure. I'll work on it. Okay. Can you okay. convince my landlord? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Deal. Good. That's great. I think we have so many plans for 2023. I'm and so excited. And plans for the pod. You guys will just have to like follow us. Everywhere. All of us literally. So you're gonna we have up with an everything. Instagram, a TikTok. Yeah. Let us know what you want to see yeah. on our social media because I'm kind of doing Instagram and Carrie's kind of doing TikTok that just like worked out best for yeah. us. And we don't really know what to post all the time. Like we want to post, but it's yeah, it's, it's kind hard. of overwhelming almost. Like I want to make everybody happy and like be like, oh my god, I love following Fuzzy Besties. <laughs> they were so much fun, but then at the same time, I'm like, what if they what hate do it? What they want to see? Yeah, yeah. We have a few funny TikToks coming out though, so that oh my be, god, so be, funny. We're just so cracking up. We literally just filmed them. They're so funny. Um, but anyway, we Should hope we you cheers. enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah. I hope everyone has a very lucky and mm -hmm. <laughs> amazing 2023. Yep. And we're so excited to spend it with you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Love ya. Love you, besties.